Hey, this is the Nerdy Sports Fan, and we're continuing our grading of the 2017 draft. The standard wisdom is that you don't really know what you have in a given draft until you wait a few years and see what these guys do in the league. For a lot of reasons. One, I mean, technique needs to develop. Um, these guys are going up against competition that's far superior to what they've seen at any point in their careers. Um, but also, you really don't know how people are going to react to having money. You don't. I mean, most of these guys have real problems with dealing with that off-the-field aspect. It's not the on-field stuff at all. Um, college programs control so much of what goes on with these young men that when they have actual freedom... And money. I mean, a lot of them just do not know how to handle that. Either way, uh, let's dig into the NFC South and start things off with the Saints. Now, going into this draft, the Saints had rattled off three, seven, and nine seasons in a row. So they had some draft capital, capital to work with. Um, and when you have your starting quarterback already figured out and you're not canning your head coach... Um, or your GM, because they had a lot of good faith built up from that Super Bowl and just being good overall, um, yeah, we, you can do some things. And man, did they ever. All right, so at the 11th overall pick, they got Marshawn Lattimore. Marshawn Lattimore was, no doubt, the, the odds-on number one corner in this draft. Um, really probably one of the best, if not the best, defensive prospects. Just there was so much offense early in this draft that he got pushed on the board and they took advantage. Uh, it just there's a couple of really good corners in this draft and Marshawn Lattimore is one of them. You, you can't necessarily say he's a slam dunk absolutely the best now because, you know, Trey White exists. But um, yeah, Lattimore still an absolute stud. At corner, and nobody's complaining there, at the 11th overall pick. They get back into the first round draft. They Out of the draft, they have a, a trade with the Patriots. And they get the 32nd overall pick because the Patriots hate making their first round selection. They, they go down in the second and third round all the damn time. Um, but the Saints take advantage of that and pick up Ryan Ramchick. Now, this was a luxury pick. Uh, I, I want to say... Uh, Pete uh, was uh, on the team at the time. Um, but, I mean, in hindsight, you, you really can't bat an eye at that. He's, what, the best right tackle in the league? Yeah. Yeah, I'm going to complain about that. All right. So, um, Marcus Williams comes up in the second round, pick 10. And another, you know, player that people are scratching their head about because, you know, you got Von Bell, you got um, Jairus Bird on the team. But, you know, what did Jairus Bird do after that? Or even really just before that. So, yeah, you, you got a starting safety out of it um, three years later. So, yeah, good job. Um, then it gets even more interesting. Round three, pick three. Alvin freaking Kamara. Yeah. Um, once again, in this draft, we have a poster child for don't draft a running back in the first round. So, um, yeah, Alvin Kamara is a top five back in this league. He, he is perfectly used in this system. Does he need somebody um, to shoulder like the heavy load sort of running? Yeah, in order to be his best long term and just for the duration of the season and into the playoffs you need to get those rough and tough pound the rock kind of yards to somebody else so alvin kamara can be used for uh stretch plays um zone inside zone um shotgun runs um and obviously throwing the ball to him out of the backfield Using him for what he's best for, he's top five back, especially in fantasy football. Uh, I'm going to be all over that this year. Um, 
Round three, pick 12, uh, Alex uh, Anzalone, Anzalone, linebacker out of Florida, uh, solid player, not spectacular, but solid. Um, round three, still, left, I mean, three third round draft picks. Um, pick number 39, uh, Trey Hendrickson, defensive end out of Florida. Solid, not spectacular defensive end. Um, and uh, Al Qadin Muhammad, the sixth round pick, is no longer with the team. He's the only player from this draft no longer with the team, but he is still in the league. He's playing with the Colts. Um, this is a goddamn clinic. Okay, this is the reason Mickey Loomis makes the big bucks. This is the reason that he's been the GM there forever. And there's a, a there's so much you can say about this draft. This is the foundation upon which the 2020 team now sits. And that's what you want a draft to be. This is textbook. It's perfect. Okay? You have forethought. So you're not drafting for need right now. You're drafting for players that you're going to replace in Ryan Ramchick and Marcus Williams. You have top-flight talent at positions of extreme value with Marshawn Lattimore. You have top flight talent at positions where you know you can get better value later in the draft in Alvin Kamara. And you also fill out positional rotational depth uh, with uh, Anzalone and uh, Hendrickson. Uh, so, shit. There, there's zero wrong with this draft. It's an A+. plus. This is a perfect freaking draft. Mickey Loomis, again, deserves a raise, again. Just, just from watching this, looking at this, one more time, I have no idea why Mickey Loomis doesn't make more money. Anyways, um, check out the other videos. I I'm making one of these draft grades for every team in the league for the 2017 year. And um, check out my Twitch feed. So all the video game content has moved to a separate channel on YouTube and Twitch. Uh, so that's the nerd e-sports fan. Yeah, I know. Clever, right? Um, and yeah, I'm going to be running my um, Patreon for fantasy football content and watch-alongs this year. So if you're interested in that, hit me up as the season starts. Thanks for watching, guys.